Hello, and welcome to our presentation of the Norming Resource Manager solution for Sage 300. Resource Manager is an all-encompassing module that allows you to manage and track employees who are remote with anytime, anywhere access to things such as project information, scheduling and resource planning, employee expense reports against budgets, timesheets for both payroll and project costing, leave tracking for sick, vacation, and other leave accrual information, as well as overtime calculations with banking and caching capabilities. And finally, a requisition capability that allows you to manage remote access for purchase requisitions, AP invoice requisitions, item usage requisitions, as well as custom requisitions that allow you to customize and build workflow approvals around any master file changes or transaction processes within Sage 300. The concept with Resource Manager is that we want to provide a back office resource manager module that allows you to integrate information to the rest of the core suite of Sage 300, but also incorporate remote access through what we call an ESS or employee self-service portal. This portal allows users to log in from any device, whether it be their notebook computer or a smartphone and tablet, both in the iPhone or Android device category, as well as Windows tablets that they use for access. The resource manager application is ideal for service-based businesses with a project orientation. And as you'll see from the setup information, we have multiple options for how we integrate with Sage 300, as well as the different ways of configuring the system to manage and track your transactions. So as an example, here on the processing page, we have the ability to integrate with the projects within Resource Manager or to the PJC project and job costing module of Sage 300. We can also manage timesheets, expense reports, leave, cash advances, and overtime. We can use a division, region, or department breakdown, or any combination of the three. We can also record cost centers, jobs, and as mentioned previously, the approval workflows with email notifications. In terms of integration, uh, we integrate with the general ledger and accounts receivable if you need billing processes. We integrate with the project and job, job cost module of Sage 300 and can therefore generate PJC time card entries for timesheets and expense reports that have been approved. We can also generate AP invoice batches on the expenses for reimbursement purposes, or we can integrate with either Canadian or US payroll to create time card entries for time tracking, but also expense pay codes for reimbursements. The system is fully multi-currency, so you might've noticed there's a default rate type, and you'll see this when we integrate with expenses where we can turn on multi-currency and record expenses in multiple currencies and also reimburse in multiple currencies. In terms of the projects, Norming comes with its own projects module with a work breakdown structure that allows you to create project templates and maintain project costing within Resource Manager. You also have the ability to integrate with expenses as we've mentioned, and you can set up per diems either on a monthly basis, a yearly basis, year to date or daily basis, where you can control how much an employee is able to spend on different types of expense codes. We can also incorporate budget capability and track the expenses against budget to show a variance and also limit what an employee can expense based on budget approval. As we're going through the workflow process that we'll show you in just a few minutes, you can allow the edit of the expense report by the approver during the approval process. And we always like to give the accountants and finance people the last say. So you can allow rejection or deletion of expense reports in the back end which would be the expense entry batch here. There are other options as well uh, that we will get into in a deeper dive presentation for the expense module specifically. In terms of timesheets, we can specify the breakdown of how discrete you wanna track the employee's time against particular projects or jobs. And you can specify a minimum and maximum number of hours. 
We allow you to record fractional time so you can break those hours down into half hour or 15 minute increments or even less if you choose to. You can allow negative time to you can back out time against projects that were misallocated. We use a concept of work calendars so that with the work calendars, you're able to specify a weekday versus a weekend versus a holiday. And this might have implications for your overtime calculations or when employees can actually record time in the system. The timesheet periods could match to a pay period in Sage 300, or it just might be how often you want timesheets entered and approved for costing updates to your projects. You also have pay codes that you can specify within Resource Manager that you can use to determine not just the hours, but also the dollars that need to be recorded. And we give the capability of creating formulas to calculate more sophisticated overtime or pay structures within your organization. And then there are pay slip formats that you can publish to the portal that we'll be talking about in just a few minutes. So as you can see, there's a number of different options here. When we're integrated with the project and job cost module, you can actually override the unit cost or the billing rate on PJC time cards. Because ultimately what Norming Resource Manager is, is a front end capability to capture employee expenses, requisitions and timesheets, either through the portal or through the back office module. And then we update the other applications like project and job costing or payroll, depending on your specific requirements. So we've talked about this portal. This is what we're talking about here, the ESS or employee self-service portal. If we log in as an employee, Notice that we can choose across multiple Sage 300 back office company databases. And as I mentioned, this is a portal that you can publish on a website, either behind the firewall or out on the public internet, typically then with a VPN connection. We also support single sign-on, so you can use Windows IDs and passwords to log in. This is a completely customizable web applet. So if you don't want certain icons to appear, you can have those displayed or not, depending on your preferences. You can also change the wallpaper color. And in our case, we have a link to the norming website as part of the web page. You could certainly embed your own company logo and a web link to your personal website. We also incorporate the use of what we call an administrative portal. The administrative portal allows you to configure the system beyond the standard back office configuration. Here, what we're able to do is through the group code, define which employees belong to which groups, <clears throat> and as a result, be able to choose what information appears on the forms, such as expense reports, timesheets, and purchase requisitions or AP invoice requisitions. So this gives you the ability to customize the forms based on column headings that you choose to hide or display. Same thing with expense reports, as well as the requisition capability. Now, the other thing you can do is you can customize all of the labels on those fields as well. And we do that through the data dictionary. Through access of the data dictionary, you're able to identify the fields and change the labels on every field within the system. This also gives us the ability to create a translation table where you're going to be able to choose different language sets within the application. So if you have workers that speak in a language other than English, uh, currently we support simple and traditional Chinese, French, and Spanish, but we're always open to add additional language sets as necessary to make it easier for your employees to use the employee self-service portal. Now we did mention approval workflows a few minutes ago, so we'll just take a minute to review that with you quickly. The approval workflows are based on each document type within Resource Manager. So you see, we have expense reports, we have advanced requests, timesheets, leave requests, overtime, different invoice requisitions and budget requests. If we use the example of an expense report, we're able to create a workflow with as many levels of approval as you wish. And you can define who participates in that workflow based on uh, a number of categories, such as specific employee, supervisor, approver group, region manager, division manager, or in the case of integration with project and job cost, a PJC contract manager. Notice that we use email as an alert function. So when documents are submitted, rejected, or approved, you can create an email template 
with your own language and wording in the body of the email, which allows you to customize the information that's being sent out based on the email alert. Notice as well that we embed different variables. So depending on the nature of the email communication, in this case as a rejection, we can add notes to explain the reason why a particular document was rejected. And in the case of an approval where you're reminding managers to approve expense reports or timesheets or any other document, we can embed a URL hot link in the body of the email, which allows the manager to simply click on that link and it will take them to the document that they need to approve. We also have the concept of approver groups. So if you'd like more than one person to approve a particular document, so in this case, let's say crew managers for projects have to approve timesheets, but you don't care which of the two actually approve it. If you embed approver group as one of the levels of approval in the workflow, then as long as one of these two people do the approval, the document can move on and continue to be processed. So with those approval workflows, you've got the capability now to add additional controls. And this is something that we find very important within Resource Manager because we are allowing remote access to employees outside the normal accounting transaction processes. But this does allow you to add the controls that are necessary at a point of contact with these remote employees and then allow you to capture the data more closely to the, um, the point at which that transaction data is being created. The last thing I wanted to share about the workflows is that when you're creating these workflows, you have the ability to create what we call a decision process. So with these decision processes, you're able to go in and create a separate decision process. And then under the process ID, you're able to add variables. So if you want to customize the workflow to include dollar value thresholds, as an example, you can do that on a line basis or a document basis to ensure that the appropriate people are approving at the appropriate level within your organization. This would also mean that if you added optional fields to the system, we can also incorporate the optional field values as part of the logic of the approval process within Sage 300. So as you can see, Resource Manager is the type of application that gives you flexibility to configure across multiple modules within Sage 300. It gives you portal access for 24 by seven access through this portal to create different types of transactions that can be controlled through approval workflows and email alerts, and then also provide direct integration into Sage 300 so that there's no rekeying of the data. It also incorporates project scheduling and planning for more advanced project schedulers who want to use Gantt charts or um, project scheduling views for different projects. So in this case, sorry, this is not uh, somebody who's actually using a project, but they would be able to use the Gantt chart with resource scheduling to actually manage the projects within uh, Resource Manager. So as we say, we invite you to look for our other videos that go a little bit deeper into each aspect of Resource Manager. Our purpose with this video was just to introduce you to some of the concepts in Resource Manager. And if you find any of these interesting or would like more information, please feel free to contact us and we'd be more than happy to arrange a one-on-one -on -one demo with you or provide additional information about the Norming Resource Manager solution. Thanks so much for attending. We appreciate your time.